Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. Today is a big day inside of FIFA 22 because we are at the end of Winter Wildcards team number one. And believe it or not, according to the EA website, Winter Wildcards team two might be dropping today. We're going to take a look at those words that they have said. It makes it sound like today might be the actual drop of team two, which is weird, right? Because mostly promo teams drop on Fridays. But we'll see if they change that up today because maybe the Christmas and the holiday weekend with the dates being different. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking the cards might not be out till Friday. But when you read the EA website, it sounds kind of interesting. So we will see if EA sticks to that or um, if they kind of just go on their own plan without giving us the actual date for it. Kind of like they did last week with the Versus cards, right? They messed up the dates when those were in packs. Maybe that's going to happen again. I want to look at the leaked cards there's a lot of leaked cards supposedly this weekend with this winter wild cards team too there's going to be a lot of cards coming out so i want to take a look at all of the leaks according to that i've kind of held off on looking at the leaked cards um, until now since we're almost right up to the date but also there's been people investing so if you've watched the market you've maybe seen some cards go up in price because of these leaks so we'll talk about that a little bit and of course um, talking about the market because the market is in a crazy, crazy state at the moment after those crazy packs and the video that we did late last night. A lot of the market dropped off yesterday as they ran lightning rounds. The numbers up, upgrades happened, and a lot of these cards actually went up in price, which was a surprise to me um, because, you know, I did not think that there was going to be that much hype for those cards, and there was. Although I do think a lot of them have come down since that initial upgrade, I think they're going to come down even more. Um, as these new cards for Wild Cards Team 2 are released either today or tomorrow. So let's take a look first at why I think, and it I don't know if it's why I think, but there could be a potential that these Wild Card 2, that the squad is out today. This is what I want to look at. This is the big reason uh, for probably the title. You click on this video and like, wait, the promo team coming today? Well, read this and then tell me what you think. On EA's website, this is the official website for Winter Wild Cards, EA said, Winter Wildcards Team 1 players will be included in the pool of pack items until Thursday, December 23rd at 6 p.m. That is today at content drop time. It then says right after that, when they will be replaced with Team 2. That makes it sound like it's a seamless transition from Team 1 being in packs to Team 2. Two. Now that is something different than what we most often and most commonly see because a lot of times team one goes until Friday and then it's a seamless transition with team two heading into packs. But this here makes it look like today on Thursday, they're going to put in team two today on Thursday. So that's the biggest question. Are EA going to go exactly how they make it sound here or are they actually going to be replacing them with Team 2 on Friday, on a normal promo Friday? That's the big question for today. And, you know, the one thing that's leading to that's leading me to believe that we are not going to see the cards in packs today is if you load into Ultimate Team, there's no loading screen. Now, I know there's not often loading screens for the second week of a promo, but I would have imagined that they would have dropped some sort of loading screen today, maybe saying, like, some hints for cards that would have been in Team 2. And, you know, I feel like today at 6 p.m. we're really going to have a big question mark or maybe if there's a few leaks beforehand, people tweeting things out. Um, we're going to really figure out is if it is today when they're dropping them in packs, which would feel weird. It would feel really weird, but I feel like there's a couple reasons why EA might or might not do that. That's the biggest question for today. If they do drop Winter Wildcards Team 2 in packs today, that's going to transition a lot of demand away from the cards that we have in Team 1, these cards right here and other stuff on the market, and it's gonna transition some demand into that new team. And you're gonna have new cards that people are going to want to try out, just like on a promo Friday. So that's the biggest question for today. Now, speaking of Team 2, I wanna take a look at the team that we are supposed to be getting. So this is, you know, if you don't like leaks, then don't look at this because this is leaks right here. Winter Wild Cards Team 2 plus mini release. There's a ton of cards coming out this weekend on this game. 18, if the leaks are correct, which they have been spot on so far, 18 new cards are coming out as a part of this promo team. I would imagine that it's going to be like, uh, I would say somewhere like 13 
I would imagine like thir- like 12 to 13 cards are going to get released with squad one. And then supposedly the mini release is pretty big. And then the rest of them would go live. So we have some huge names though, as a part of team two. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is one of the headliners. Sterling was a- with a position change to right wing. A center attack in mid Lucas Mora. A left wing Eden Hazard. A striker Martial. A right, bing- right wing back Aspilicueta, which looking at this card... You're kind of like, man, EA, why couldn't you have made that a center back? That would have been a sick card. Um, Magnan, Alessandrini striker, Morales striker, Taremi striker. Three big strikers right there, along with Martial and Zlatan. There's a lot of attackers that are in this in this promo site, right? A lot of attackers and defenders, not as many midfielders, because we had a ton of midfielders this last week as a part of uh, squad one. Other guys you've got in here is Genduzi. That's a really dope looking card. Soyuncu, Prem center back. Tierney, left back. Florenzi in the right back position. Collins from the Bundesliga, a really pacey center back there. Alex Moreno, left back. A French left back in Delane from Ligue 1. And then Tezzi, a Eredivisie center back. So tons of cards. And obviously a lot of these cards look sick as well. This really does not, if we're getting more wild cards like this, I mean, you guys have seen how this market has reacted in this past week, so many people have sold previous, you know, promo team cards or golds. Like, take a look at how much Mbappe has dropped in the last week. He's gone from 1.2 mil. He's down 100k, right? He's 1.08 again. A lot of people are selling cards that they had from, you know, in their squad of previous promo items. Renato Sanchez is down, right? You know, uh, you take a look across the market and you see a lot of other items that are down on this game. Because people are loving these brand new winter wild cards because they're insane stat boosts, they're awesome position changes, they're awesome, crazy shape shifting boosts that they're putting on these cards. And it's gonna happen again for another promo team with a bunch of cards coming out. The daily SBCs are gonna continue. I really don't see on this market right now a huge rise. I really don't think this is this is not a scenario where we see a huge rise on a lot of these cards that have gone down. In all honesty, this is going to put more cards on this game. It's probably going to drag the rest of the market lower because I would imagine that the pack weight on these cards that are dropped for team two are going to be just about the same as they were for team one. So uh, also right now, this is the late night set of the lightning rounds. It's been a crazy day of lighting rounds. We'll talk about that in a second too. But they're running the 86 plus star, small rare players pack, 10% for winter wild cards, right? 10% for these, uh, which is a very high pack weight uh, from, from these packs. Ultimate pack, 15%. That's crazy, crazy high. Uh, and they actually just updated the pack odds to display that. So crazy high odds on these winter wild cards. It's actually nuts. Uh, and I think that would continue with team two as well, especially since you have more items impact so whether those cards drop today or tomorrow on friday that's kind of like the big question i in my opinion i feel like why would ea change up their schedule to drop them today on a thursday i feel like they might be tomorrow but again as the website reads it looks like it would be today so that's the biggest question for today at 6 p.m whether we get a loading screen telling us that cards are dropping or uh, whether we actually get the cards in packs. So that's the biggest thing. Again, we looked at the league cards, so you kind of know what's coming. Uh, and that's probably going to be spot on because so far the leaks have been spot on. But let's take a look at the market right now. Uh, of course, yesterday we had the Etebo SPC, which is like a Conte-esque player. I think this card has a lot of hype, even though I think he's a little bit overpriced. And in my opinion, he's a decent SPC. I think a lot of people that run Prem teams like this card because it's very similar to Conte. They don't care about the links because they just run a Prem squad. And he's 80K. Uh, 3,000 up votes, 2,600 down votes. I feel like, you know, I know there's some people that are doing this SBC and they like it. For me, I'm going to pass. It doesn't fit my team for sure. Awar fits my team a lot better. And this SBC coming the day after Awar, I think also hinders my opinion of him a little bit because Awar was just such a good card on this game. Now we talked about the numbers up upgrades. That was another big part of the market day yesterday. If you sold your cards into the hype, like I was talking about, you you definitely made the safe profit, right? But some of these went up further after that. Like I bought Felix at 540, sold him at 650. He actually had a short bit of time yesterday where he went and ballooned up into the 700K range. Um, he actually twice hit up into the 700K range. I mean, these cards do have really big boosts on them, but with these insane cards coming out this weekend on this game, if you have a numbers up item that you're trying out, I would seriously get it out. I really would because I think a lot of these 
have other items that are going to come in and kind of replace them from a hype stand for, uh, standpoint. Some of them might stay up in price a little bit, but like Jota, there's a lot of left wings in here or, or attacking players, right? You've got a left wing hazard. That's going to be a big time player that people would want to use. Of course, you've got Player of the Month Vinny. You've got the Zaha that a lot of people in FIFA are still using. So I'm just a little worried about these numbers up cards. I would take the cash while they're hype because these guys aren't getting upgraded again until April. And that is a big L in my opinion. So they're going to get their 99 stats in April, but this boost right here in December is the one that really mattered the most. So we'll keep an eye on some of these. They're going to continue to fluctuate. Uh, but I feel like, again, the hype is really going to turn to the wild cards team number two. Uh, after today on this game. Also, yesterday we had a new team of the week and this team of the week is actually nuts. It's one of the best team of the weeks that we have had. And I feel like I got to talk about this because I think that the way this game is changing today with the new season, I'm going to talk about this with in relation to the market as well. They dropped an insane team of the week, big name players in here, really usable items. This is going to draw more people to play weekend league. It's a holiday weekend. Uh, more people are going to be at home because of that, especially with, you know, some of the issues right now and in the world with uh, COVID and all that. All right, a lot of people are staying home because numbers are going up and stuff like that. So I think there's going to be an increased demand for gameplay because of that with the team of the week and that situation that we talked about. And as well with what we have changing today with with foot champions, qualification and finals and division rivals, it is going to be easier than ever to get into the weekend league because you have more games to qualify. It takes you less uh, foot champions points to get into the playoffs and you have to win less games and get less points in, in champs playoffs to get into the champions finals, aka weekend league, right? So with the milestones re a reset tonight, which is coming in just a couple hours after this video goes live, I really think people are going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, wow, I can actually get into weekend league and I have maybe some time to play. I know it's going to be a mix, right? Some people are going to be busy because the holiday it's, it's, you know, both sides of the coin, but I also feel like a lot of people are going to have more time to play over the holiday as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. I do think there is going to be a decent rise on the market today on Thursday after that rewards time period. Now I'm really curious to see of course, with the cards that are in packs, right? We've got these wild card team one cards that are in packs. You know, I'm a little bit skeptical with these cards rising today just because of the fact that there's a lot of people that will be looking into team two. And especially if team two rumors are coming out and coming around and people are saying, man, looks like wild card team two is going to drop today. Will that hinder some of the rise on some of these cards? Maybe. I think gold cards will do well. And one thing I would watch out for too is other items that have gone up a lot in price. Um, you know, with links to Awar and a lot of people doing the Atebo SBC, like this Tiago Jalo is 320,000 coins. I mean, I could see this guy, this guy going 350 plus because what you're also going to have today on this game is you're going to have people that get their packs from milestones and get their packs from rivals rewards. And they're going to go into the SBC tab and they're going to complete our, they're going to complete McGloyer or a table, but especially a guy like our, there might be people right now that are waiting to do this SBC or waiting to do any of the number of player SBCs in here, specifically our though, with their rewards that they get, because a lot of people are getting some insane packs today, right? If milestone rewards, as we've talked about, supply some really in insane packs, but that they're all untradeable, right? They're all untradeable. A lot of people are getting like 100K packs. You know, I mean, if you got milestone rank three, I'm in division three, right? I would have gotten two 100K packs and two 45K packs if I would have played all my matches. Now, I know some of you guys may not be there, but you might be at rank two, which is still a 55K and a 100K for, or, you know, a lot of packs like that are getting released today. That's gonna supply a lot of fodder into people's clubs. They're gonna go out and do SBCs. Then they're gonna buy cards to link to those SBCs. So I feel like there's a strong chance that the market does well today um, after the rewards, rivals rewards timeframe. So I would really keep an eye on some of your cards that are inflated or that link to these special SBCs or cards that have just gone up recently because they link to what's hyped right now in this game. Like I'm watching this Atal card because I've been buying this dude at like 65, 68, and then selling them at like 75. So if I were able to catch a few of these later on, you know, in the below 70K range in the mid 60s, I would keep an eye on that. I'm keeping an eye on still some of these um, wild card items, even though I think they're a little bit more risky um, if team two is not today and there's no loading screen this morning, 
then some of these guys might rise back up a little bit too. Kingsley Coleman was just 500K flat. He's kind of still chilling around this range. Uh, but some of these guys are really low after the prices that we, we have seen yesterday and the lightning rounds and stuff like that. Milinkovic Savage, 99,000 coins. I mean, he was 130 like yesterday. So, I mean, I could see that going back up 10 to 15,000 coins, which would be a nice little bit of profit after tax. How much was Modric? Uh, Modric went down a bunch. I still think there's some demand here with this card, 611K. Jonathan David, I picked a few of these up at like uh, high 80s, like 80,000 coins yesterday at a really low point. Uh, what is he right now? I think he's still about like 91, 92. So if this were to go into the 80s again, I'd be maybe interested in that. But I think I would fo focus mostly on maybe some of the gold cards as well. Like Varan is a card that people who are building some teams today, I've seen gold cards actually move a decent amount um, in the past few days. So Varan was like 52K, then he rose to 59. Right now he's back down to 52, 53. I've got a couple of those on my transfer list. Uh, so just kind of thinking about what cards are hyped at the moment, what cards link to popular items that people are using. And also what cards are down, like that Fred Road to the Knockouts card was 190,000 coins yesterday. Um, and again, we did have a huge debacle. If you did not watch that video that I posted a couple hours ago, um, there was a huge debacle. Wow, he's back down to 190. All right, so if this goes to like 180 again or 190 flat, I might get interested. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this or not again, and I feel like I have to mention it because it's, it was crazy yesterday. These late lightning rounds yesterday with the winter roundup packs, they were actually supplying um, past promo cards, promo cards that were from past promos, tradable on the market. And this, this again, I'm still trying to wrap my head around why EA wants to do this, but they're literally taking cards that are have not been supplied on the market for months and they're putting supply on this game and it's literally dropping those prices on this game a lot a lot of your lower tier cards especially since ea didn't drop a lot of those packs but like rule breakers had such a high percentage pack weight kessie is down like fifteen thousand coins because of it um bomba is down the claustrumman item is down like the lower tier cards from all these promos got hit big time i bought verissimos at 40k yesterday because he was down he was 60k he went down to 40 i picked two of them up and now he, the dude is 31,000 coins right so there were big tap soba is down a lot 26k for him that's really cheap amavi's 14k like what dude are you kidding me he was 23k a couple days ago that's wild like that's that's actually wild. he was 20,000 coins yesterday so i mean that's the crazy thing about yesterday with the market is that EA supplied those cards literally out of nowhere. I mean, I talked about it in the earlier video too. It just feels like that you're getting kind of backstabbed from EA. Sane is 215. Yeah, that's got to be an undercut, right? I don't think it is. Look at this Sane card, man. He was like 230, 240 yesterday. And now he's 215,000 coins with Lewandowski and Team of the Week. It's wild. It's wild that EA decided they want to go out and hurt the market like this. And I again, I really just think that that's a sign of more to come too. I think that they're going to release those those lightning round packs. Um, since they released them earlier yesterday, I think they could release them more during this weekend uh, as a part of this promo. We still have not seen preview packs in a long time. It just seemed like yesterday with all the lightning rounds that they're running, they're still running lightning rounds. They might even run a few more lightning rounds into today on Thursday morning. It just seems like they really want to crash the market and they want to supply fodder. And fodder is low, low, low because of that they keep running these lightning rounds i've got high rated fodder in my club fortunately i didn't put too many coins into it but you know it kind of sucks knowing that i have coins in that and it just really is not moving because the demand right or the supply right now is just insane so that's kind of a look into the spc fodder market as well if you have fodder honestly i can't say anything else but just keep holding on to it right that's what we're all trying to do and that's what we're all trying to watch is, you know, as this is an SBC based promo, we're going to need more SB we're going to need an icon player pick is really what we're going to need to see to see a lot of this stuff move and to see it move a lot. So that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment on this market. It's, it's a crazy market right now. It really, really is. I lost some coins yesterday trading with the new team of the week cards, also made some coins off of some other flips. It's just an extremely, extremely volatile place right now on this FIFA 22 Ultimate Team market. But today should be a very interesting day, of course. Um, if they do actually drop the cards and packs, if I had to give a prediction, my prediction is 
that they are not going to drop a winter wild cards team too. And I think they have the wording wrong on the website, but I don't know, man, this company right now, I don't know what they're going to do. So today we're kind of preparing and expecting that we might see it because that's what their website says and leads us to believe, but that's the big question of the day. So after that, it might seem kind of like a promo Friday because there will be lightning rounds today. If they do uh, winter wild cards team two, there would be a lot of lightning rounds. There would probably be, I mean, there's going to be another SBC today for a player, but other content, I mean, who knows? It might be a promo Thursday instead of a promo Friday. So that's the biggest question for today. Are they actually going to go out and do that? Um, you know, when does this objective uh, guy expire? Okay, so this guy expires with the season today too. So that 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 makes me think they maybe are bringing another objective today. And that means the promo might start today since it's a new season, but who knows? That's the number one question, and we will see it at 6 p.m. So if you want to watch and see what happens with us, we'll be live streaming on Twitch. That link is down below in the description. If you want to kind of experience it all together there, we'll be live streaming and watching the market and the content as it is released tomorrow on this game or today on this game. Sorry. So that's the video for today, boys. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Of course, if you enjoyed the vid, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.